hello, my name is uh, DG. This is my uh, my store here. I've been here, uh, well, I've been here a long time. And uh, I want to thank the crew here for showing up to do this documentary on, <clears throat> on uh, what is what is a historical venue that's dying day by day. And this documentary here will, will document the fact that bookstores once did in fact exist. And people actually read these books, these uh, embalmed minds, if you will. So I've been here many years and uh, recently my son-in-law, Dave, uh, showed up and I'm pretty much gonna hand it over to him. I, uh, Oh, what is... <laughs> well, first thing I want to say is thanks for doing this documentary, man. I mean, I know that you're just a low-grade film student or whatever, but you know, it's it's important that we document the book business because we're in the last fucking days of this stuff, and we, we plan on being the last man standing. And I, if in case you haven't figured it out, I'm the boss, the, the head cheese, the, the number one man in this place. I'm the one that makes sure that we stay in business. Jay and Matt, these guys work for me. I'm the boss. I'm the one that calls the shots around here. This is my place. I'm the man. Nobody else but me. I've been around the book business for about three weeks now, and I'm here to tell you that I know what the fuck I'm doing, man. I'm going to make this business the best business in the world. These other guys, sure, they've been in the business a lot longer, but they don't know shit about sales to sales. It doesn't matter if you're selling books or fucking, you know, tampons. Who gives a fuck a book, a tampon? I don't give a fuck. It doesn't matter to me. What I want to make sure of is that we sell books, and we will. We're number one, baby. Number one. All right, well, the purpose of this is to document the fact that we don't just screw around all the time. We're an actual business, and I'm the owner. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and document a what we call There's a no reason. There's no reason for this. It's just a simple problem. One-on-one. -on -one. This is what we call a one-on-one. One-on-one. -on -one. And they do the same thing in, in corporate America, and we are like corporate America here from a business standpoint. And I have to ensure that all the employees are getting the attention they need and they're on the same page and following their vision and following their goals. So, so let's take three seconds. Um, so I noticed that your sales have been kind of weak. Uh, I'm, I'm not the salesman. Well, you talk to customers though. Only when I have to, when you guys are screwing around. What's he doing with it? This is a $40 book. This is the kind of thing that I think is a worthless book. Full of pseudo ideas and pseudo theories, no reality. Every nubile, young, hippie, feel-good feminist wannabe wants to read this crap and thinks it validates their worldview. It's full of bad philosophy and bad history and bad everything. This is the kind of thing we shouldn't have in the store. Here, just follow me right now. Who cares if it sells or not? It's mostly. Yeah, my friend told me to go. Who cares if it sells or not? I mean, it doesn't sell anymore. The movie's been out for how long now? It's on VHS. I mean, that's all people do anymore, anyway. So. Oh, really? Where they are? I haven't seen them anywhere here. You got, hey Jay, have you seen a copy she's looking for? Anyway, um, yeah. So basically, this has more negative influence on the world than the positive influence of all the books of worthy hey, ideas. What the hell are you doing, man? We got the. She's got a book club, and we need all these. How many do you need in your book club? Um, well, we're talking I think about the I books need that are shit. These are shit books. These are good. This is what you want, right? Oh, this is, yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Go on yeah. with your thing. Thank you. That people want. Absolutely. You're dialed in. That's right, I'm dialed in. You're Mr. Man of the People. I am fucking dialed well, in. Well, you're Mr. Man so of the People. So you, who else is dialed in? Who? Oprah Winfrey. You're, you're Man Oprah of the People, Winfrey's and you don't read. In. What does that tell you about Nobody, running a bookstore? I bet you Oprah doesn't either, but she has a book club. So, with Oprah, Oprah has a TV show. Where's your TV show? Oh, it's it's. Close coming. your eyes and pick one. It'll be like the spirits inspired you to pick a book. How does that sound? I kind of like that idea these Philistines come in here thinking that because they have taste in something that it's the right thing, that it's good art, that it's, uh, that, that, that their, their standard or their uneducated, ignorant, uh, um, uninformed, dullard's wits are enough, to, are enough to go on for their next book selection. Or, even lacking that, they turn to some idiot named Oprah Winfrey who is just trying to sell them a book. I, I I just can't deal with it. It's ridiculous. It be, you know, I mean, this is why when someone comes in for something like that, the first thing I do is make them feel stupid. Because that's exactly what they are. Stupid. 